What's happening, guys? I am here with a customer commission project here. This is a modern take on the Horton flying wing from World War II. Uh, it's one of the most amazing way ahead of its time designs, the Horton flying wing. Um, and uh, and this is kind of like a modern-ish version of it. Uh, this is, uh, I was sent a rendering and I just made, modeled it up and, uh, and here it is. And uh, I am not not extremely i don't know how to put this i'm not confident <laughs> the uh the horton the horton wing is notoriously very difficult to fly it not only let, let's just put it this way it's difficult to make this thing fly off of a rc strip like a runway with gear uh with in all good conditions, uh, I do have good wind and weather conditions right now, but that's about all I have going for me. I have two small, very small vertical tails, uh, kind of molded into the uh, the fuselage there, just something uh, to keep it a little bit uh, from yawing and weather veining. Um, so I looked a lot at the the uh, the blueprints of the Horton and. Um, and and the original wing design from from the Horton flying wing is it's 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 definitely ahead of its time for 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 what they knew about wings back then but um it lacked a few things that I thought that it needed so I implemented that I'm not going to go over what that is because um yeah you figure that out <laughs> Uh, I don't know if it's going to work. Uh, I know that the original Horton wing does not fly very well at low speeds. It needs a lot of trickery to, to make it work well. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens, guys. This thing is heavy. It's big. It's huge. It's twin 50, 2200 4S. Uh, I'm stalling. Okay, and here's here's another thing. So center of gravity, uh, it's fairly simple to figure out for flying wings. I am on my, my calculated bumps Okay, so here's the first thing. Hear that? That right there is a wonky servo. That servo right there is grinding. Um, uh, people are screaming. I don't know what's going on. Look at that weather system coming in. That's crazy, right? Um, so I have it on safe mode to throw it. Um, it balanced. So that's the first the first struggle on the on the flying wings. Typically, it's very difficult to get enough weight forward to make the thing balance. Here's the other stupid thing I did. So I needed a hand launcher. I wanted a hand launcher just to make sure it goes straight when I throw it. But look, the, the hand launcher is going to create dirty air <laughs> and right in front of the, the, uh, the, the vertical tail on the bottom. So now I have about half of what I thought I was going to have in terms of vertical surface. So that's not good. All right, let me do a quick little test here. All right. It feels even thrust, and it feels like it wants to go up. So that is good. Uh, all right, guys. I'm going to make sure I'm clear here. No one is going to get hurt. And the time is now. The time is now, guys. We throw the wing, the Horton. Let's just chuck it and see. No way. It's flying. It's flying. It's flying good. Hold on. Oh no. My thrust angle is a little off, but it flies. Oh, the yaw. It's yawing out. It's yawing. It's weather veining. I need a bigger tail. But it's flying, guys. It's flying. It's flying. I'm gonna bring it in. Look at that thing. Look at it. Oh my goodness. Look at the look at the glide ratio. It's gone forever. See you later. <laughs> it keeps going. It keeps going. 
It that is the best, the blessed the the sorry, I can't speak. That was the single handedly the best glide ratio I have ever seen on a flying wing. Ever. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Now it um okay. It wants to it wants to climb on throttle because my thrust line is off, okay? This is totally fixable. I can fix this problem. So that's good. It launched good for my hands. Have you ever seen a Horton wing fly off out of somebody's hand? I'll wait. <laughs> I don't think you can tell me that you have. And I'm not talking about foam board. You can make any foam board, foam board wing uh, fly. I'm talking about a Horton, a 3D, a perfectly this do you realize what the glide look at look at look at this the glide ratio of this seriously the glide ratio look at that thing i've never seen anything like it i cut the throttle guys back before the soccer goals well all the way back there it almost went uh, 150 maybe maybe 100 yards i bet you it went 100 yards at about 50 feet you, you guys figure that out 40 feet, 40 feet high. Wow. Okay. So what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to, I'm going to cut, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to trim the, all right. I need, I need a vertical tail on this thing. It has to have a vertical tail or drag rudders. Um, I'm thinking about doing drag rudders. Oh, but it's going to kill the efficiency. Oh, this thing, <laughs> I couldn't get over it. All right, I need uh, I need more nose weight. That's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to get more nose weight somehow. And I am going to... I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I did 10 more clicks of down. Uh, and the only thing is on my gyro, I set up the, the pitch to be five, five degrees, uh, up. So that's not helping me either because it wants to climb. I've set, I set it that way for hand launch because I'm a noob when it comes to the, uh, the spectrum stuff. All right. All right. Let's check, uh. Let's check the voltage, see if I need to change the, the battery. That was unbelievable, guys. Wow, all right, let's check the battery. I mean, I could just change it, but no, it's fine. I got plenty. All right, I'm gonna swap this around this direction here. I'm gonna get it all the way in the front. And then this thing, I want this in the front too, like that. I'm gonna shove everything up here. Everything goes up. All right. Everything goes up. All right. I'm gonna throw it again. Probably gonna crash it, but it is what it is. Um, I wanna make my customer happy. Um, oh yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit, I got a problem here. How can I do this? How can I add a little bit more weight? I need a little bit more weight up in the front. Um, how can I do this without causing a problem? Mm, that, that'll work. Yep. Okay. Okay. That works. I shoved the old cam in there, the old camera, that little uh, run cam or whatever it's called. Mobius, is that? I can't remember. Let's see where we're at. Damn, man, my CG bumps were dead on. <laughs> Stuff shifted a little. All right, all right, guys. Hope I don't crash this thing now. I really don't. All right, ready? Let's get it going again. This storm is nasty. Look at that thing. All right. All right, ready? Holy 
Holy crap. It's, it needs, it needs, it's yawing all over the place, guys. But I can fly it. It wants to fly. Look, throttle off, guys. Watch the glide. Watch the glide, ready? That was throttle off. It's been off. Look at this thing. This is unbelievable. What did I do with this airframe? I just need a little bit of a, of a rudder. Look at it glide. Look at this thing. Look at it. It just goes forever. Yeah. Oh, I got, you know what, guys? I have, a, I have one motor that's yawing. Oh, that's my problem. I have one motor that's acting up and it's, and it's, I think a hurricane, I think a tornado is about to touch down, by the way. I think I have a, um, one motor that's giving me trouble. Watch this thing come. Watch. I've been off. That was at the, before the, the second goal back there. Look at this thing come. I'm, I'm totally off guys. Look at it. I'm totally off. I'm going to walk because I'm going to go get it. Look at this. Look at it. It's still going. Still going. Still going. Look, it's <laughs> it self-levels itself. That flying wing design that I did freehand, I didn't use any aero tools, flow simulation, anything. Oh, man. This, uh, I feel like I'm going to get killed right now. Um, I'm in the middle of a field. Uh, this is not a good idea. Uh, I'm going to leave right now. I'm going to hurry up. Um, dude, this is, this is the best flying wing I've ever made ever, 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 ever. And it just needs a little bit more vertical tail and we're good to go, baby. Look at this. Look at this sexy thing. This is the sexiest flying wing I've ever seen. It is a beast and a half and it is heavy. This is like 1.2 kilograms, twin 50, 2200. Uh, man, never, ever experienced a glide ratio like this thing, guys. Look at this beast. So cool. All right. Well, I didn't crash it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewatch the video. It was, it wanted to, um, the, the, oh, you know what? Maybe I have to calibrate the motors. Maybe I need to do a ESC calibration or something else. Cause it wanted to yaw. I wasn't getting equal, equal motor thrust. So, um, yeah, that was weird. Oh boy. Here comes the, here comes the weather. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up real quick. Um, what's that noise? Is that rain coming? Heavy rain. Yep, here it comes. All right, guys, uh, thanks a lot for watching this. I will see you on the next one.